Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome back to the AMRAP Mentality Podcast. We have short format podcasts like this one. We have longer format podcasts where we interview guests. Today, we're going to dive into this idea of utilizing external objects and the power of them. So I just got done at the gym and I was throwing around a barbell and I started realizing that my workouts are never better than when I incorporate some type of external load. Do I like to go out for a run? Of course. Do I think there's a ton of value in there? Absolutely. Do I like to be on a bike? Yes. But when I throw around a kettlebell, throw around a wall ball, throw around a dumbbell or a barbell, the way it makes me feel and the adaptation my body starts to get are out of control. I start to feel like the results just are catapulted when I start really having a strain and push against these external objects. And I started thinking to myself, man, I know that these external objects in my fitness play a huge impact. I know they do. I'm getting stronger. I'm getting fitter. But how does that relate to real life? How does that relate to business? And I think that in life, we try to avoid, right? We try to avoid these external objects. And in business, it might be tough decisions. In life, it might be tough discussions, right? But these external things are what kind of force us to adapt, evolve, and grow. And so what I'm thinking about for this week is that if you're out there and you're just trying to stay comfortable, I get it. I get it. Why why wouldn't you, right? But I think it's the times where you pick up a barbell and you lift it that you then, after you're done, you feel so powerful. You feel like you accomplished something. Now, how do you take that? And then you're at the workplace and maybe, you know, you have to have a tough conversation. Maybe there's someone that's coming around that you know is going to push you and maybe you've been avoiding it, but maybe you should go and seek that out. Seek out those external objects, seek out those external people, because all they're going to do is force you to learn more about yourself and to ultimately improve, in my opinion, right? I've been, I've came across so many different people in business and family life and friendship that at first I'm like, man, this guy's really pissing me off, right? But he was pissing me off because I knew something he was saying or she was saying was right. And so listening to it, listening to external objects, listening to those external people, and then learning from it, evolving from it, and progressing from it is what I'm all about. And so if you're not out there lifting a barbell, go find a barbell. If you don't have a barbell in mind, go grab a sandbag, go grab a backpack, go do something, right? Place an external load on your body. And not only do you see the benefit physically, but also mentally, psychologically, et cetera. Guys, I hope everybody's having a phenomenal week. You know, I want to thank you again for taking the time to listen to these episodes. It's an opportunity for me to share what I have going on in my life. I'm about to go travel for a couple of weeks. And I look forward to learning from more people, from experiencing from more people, bringing back those experiences to this podcast and hopefully help, hopefully helping to raise the bar for everybody involved. If you haven't rated, reviewed, or shared this podcast, would really appreciate it. If it's making an impact on you, would love it if you could help maybe somebody else. And if you haven't checked out our partners and you drink coffee, you have to check them out. Bubsnaturals.com slash Jason. They have a really good collagen and MCT powder that I put in my coffee every morning. Guys, I hope uh, you have a phenomenal day. Keep rising the tides, keep getting after it. And I'll look forward to talking to you again next week for another episode. Have a good one.